Okay, I have a basic map set up here. So the first thing I need to do is actually end the camera. Uh, it starts way up here. To get it down, it's going to set the height zero and move it up a bit forward. It's probably good. Uh, let's just give the camera a name so we can reference it later. Um, base cam. Next, we need an actual screen to project it to. So go into meshes. I'm going to select quad. Uh, it's complaining. Let's just go with the materials. So make sure to select quad. Um, draw out the shape you want. So take this. Move it up. Rotate it. Probably good. And you're going to make sure that the texture is oriented correctly. Uh, so we just go faces, click on it, and uh, make sure it's correctly oriented. Uh, hit fit. Uh, looks good, except it's upside down. But it's upside down. So let's rotate it again. Okay, now it's the correct way. Hit fit. And there we go. Now, um, if you wanted to have it flipped along the x axis, for example, you can just scale it with minus one on the x-axis, uh, which may set it off a bit. So just hit just by center, and that will recenter it. And now it's mirrored. If you want that, I actually just leave it the way it was. So that's how you center texture, and you want to make sure that you see the entire texture. Otherwise, you're gonna have part of whatever this uh, camera's recording uh, cut off. So the texture you want to use is v uh, VR Funk Monitor. And we have two options. We have VR Funk Monitor and VR Funk Monitor Clean. The VR Funk Monitor is the one seen in the game with the static noise on it, while VR Funk Monitor Clean is a clean version without any distortions. So I'm just going to throw this on there, make sure it's um, nice. I'm just going to fit one more time, justify. It's probably good. Uh, and then you need to tie it up to a VR Monitor entity. So to do that, uh, we go back to objects, tie selected ent entities to meshes, tie selected meshes to entities, just hit control T. The entity we want is a funk monitor. And then simply under camera, I drop, click the camera, and that's all you need. Okay, so here we are in the game. Here's the texture. It works, a bit low resolution. If I actually step in the frame, you can see me here. So it works. So if you want to turn up the resolution, just click on your monitor, object or entity, and just change the resolution to whatever you want. Next, I wanted to add some monitors. A just a plane is fine, but let's actually add something that's a bit nicer to look at. So I'm going to add uh, this one here. Should be good. And of course, I could just draw a square texture and put it in there, but the screen is supposed to be curved, and I'm not messing around trying to model a curved screen, especially when I just have one lying literally right here. So I'm just going to be dragging this one in and simply scale as necessary and try to fit it in. So I think that looks good enough. Um, let's just add a monitor as well. Good measure. It's Bit big, so let's just turn it down a little bit. 25% smaller should be fine. And to be able to apply texture choice, let's just add uh, one of these screens to the monitor as well.
Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So we have our three screens. They're all currently entities, however. But, but you can fix that actually by just right clicking, selected entities, and convert models to editable mesh. So with that, these are now meshes, and we can then tie them to a funk mono entity, like we did before. So I'm just going to type again funk mono. And let's just pick this camera to be the same as this one over here. And again, for materials, I'm going to actually pick the distorted version and make sure I draw it onto both matches. You can actually test it out using one of the other um, VR funk monitor textures. So I think that looks pretty good. So let's just drag this back on. Uh, for this, I'm going to do the same, tie it on to its own funk monitor. Select this one over here again, but this time I want to be able to move uh, the monitor. I'm actually going to change this from static to physics, uh, give it a name. This is simply going to be uh, monitor one. And I'm going to take the screen hierarchy parent to the monitor, and it will now move around with the monitor. And of course, don't forget to apply the texture to the monitor as well. Okay, so we're now back in the game. As you can see, resolution is much better on this one. And these now have the static. Uh, camera feed that from the camera we have over here and this can be picked up and carried around and we can actually see ourselves holding <laughs> the monitor on the monitor itself next let's create our own makeshift security camera for this i'm going to create a new quad it's probably fine it's going to be a long stick. For our entities, it's going to be funk rotating. It's going to lift it up a bit. Uh, it's going to be about here. It's probably good. Uh, let's move it over. Something like that. Um, next, go through the settings. Um, Retracing speed, I'm going to pick a slow 15, no friction, and for moving speed, I'm actually going to pick a Alex fan, which I think makes a pretty good camera moving sound. So yeah, next let's add the camera. So I'm just going to create a new camera. Same as before, move it down. Up, oh, wait, over. Something like that, and just rotate it so it faces down. It's pretty good. Um, Field of view, let's just have it a bit uh, higher. And give this a name. Security cam frame. And if we take this and parent it. Okay. And next, let's add the logic. So I'm going to simply have a timer, logic timer. Move it fit this way, that's probably fine. So this, um, I want it to move for four seconds. And then I want it to pause for six seconds. In, and then move in the opposite direction. So to do that, I'm going to have the output. Uh, so, after four seconds on the timer, 
uh, I'm going to select the frame and I want it to stop. Copy paste this. Uh, I also want it to oops, reverse direction. And lastly, I want it to uh, not just pick itself. Uh, I'm going to call this timer cam. So it will then disable itself. Next, I want it to enable itself, but only after six seconds has passed. So after it stopped for six seconds, it will then re enable itself and then count down for another four seconds. And also, after those six seconds, I want it to actually turn on the movement again. And this time, it will be going in the opposite direction. So this looks pretty good, but let's actually see it. So for that, I'm just going to add um, pipe. Okay, so here's the pipe models. Let's say uh, it's this one. Move it here. Rotate it down. Looks pretty good. Um, and next, uh, let's just add camera. Is this one? Rotate degrees, move it over a little bit down, rotate it something like that. Oh, and shift it over. Okay, that looks good. Just gonna make sure. Uh, oh, I actually wanna move it back down too. Make sure it's not actually in frame. Okay, so the lens has been caught by it a little bit. Uh, I'm actually going to take the camera, let's move it a bit forward, like that, so the lens is not inside uh, this. And then I'm going to just parent these two. Of course, they need to be dynamic if I want to move. Uh, same goes for this one. Dynamic. Hierarchy, parent to this, this will also be parented to that. So all of these three will move together as this is rotating. Take um, the camera, I'll give it a name, security camera. Pick this and you are now going to display from this camera instead. And for materials, make sure you select uh, no draw so it doesn't show up in the game okay so here we are let's see <laughs> so here's our monitor and as you can see as it moves what you see on the screen also moves and we can of course see ourselves after six seconds it starts moving again and it's kind of subtle, but I really like just the nice uh, <laughs> sound it makes as it moves as well. Uh, and that's how we can make security cameras. And lastly, I wanted to show you how you can um, track entities using cameras. So I'm going to pick these two right here and just shift drag to create a copy of them like so. Um, next, I need to rename these, so let's just call it Basecam2, and uh, this doesn't actually have a name, so that's fine. Next, we need a aim at, there we go, just move it up a bit, place it wherever you want it, uh, actually, it doesn't need to be that high, like that's probably fine. And then move our camera, move our camera to it. Oh, I made a copy of it. That's fine. Uh, can I get these to be? Okay, that's. 
a little bit, that's, that's fine. Then let's just give this cam in at, so I can then go in here and parent to the aim at, so the camera will follow the movement of this. Uh, then I need, let's, uh, the thing I want to track is a prop, so let's just pick a uh, scout. Let's put scout down here, it's perfect. Uh, let's just make him physics, physics, and next I need an info target. So this is the point the AMAT will actually point towards. So I'm going to just put this uh, on his belly, I guess. That looks pretty good. It's a tiny bit inside. Actually, just make it his face. <laughs> it's a pretty face. So this is going to be the can aim at target. And uh, this is going to be parented uh, to the scout figure. It doesn't have a name. Uh, scout prop. And then we just need to make this aim at, aim at the can aim at target that we just created. So now this will constantly be aiming at the green target, which is parented to the scout, and that's it. One last thing. Let's make sure that the camera is actually set to our camera. And let's just crank up the resolution as well to 16, why not? And here we go. So you can see the scout right in the middle here. If you actually pick him up, you can see the camera tracks wherever he is. Thanks for watching.